In this video, I'm going to show you how you can advertise your YouTube video using Google Ads, in which case your video will pop up as an ad right on top of YouTube search on people's YouTube homepages and on people's videos right beside suggested video. Before I do that though, I got a bit of information to share with you. If you haven't seen it yet, check out my Google Ads playlist because I talk about certain things that I'm not gonna be going over in this video, in which case you can find on my Google Ads review 2021 that you can check out. Another thing is Google Ads got coupons. They got promo codes that you can use so you can redeem those. I show how to redeem those in another video and some of you might be wondering, can I use Google ads to actually get watch time to help with monetization? I talk about that in another video that's all in my Google ads playlist. So that's why I'm telling you, you should check it out. But something that I don't talk about in that playlist that I'm gonna talk about right now is that your average watch time will go down on your video if you decide to promote it as an ad. So what I will suggest is that you make a duplicate video and then switch it up a little bit. Maybe take out 10 seconds, maybe add 10 seconds. Then make it an unlisted video and then use that video to promote on Google Ads. The last thing I wanna talk about is the ad structure for a Google Ads campaign. It can be confusing sometimes, so let me talk about it right now. You have the general settings, which is gonna consist of when is your ad date gonna start, when is it gonna end, how much are you willing to spend in total, what is the language it's gonna be in, things of that nature. Then you have the ad group. Who are you targeting and how are you gonna target them? So that consists of the age, the gender, parental status, and also whether you're trying to target them using keywords? Are you trying to target specific videos? Are you trying to target specific channels? Are you trying to target specific topics? And then the last thing you have is the ad, which is which video is going to be in the ad and what's the title going to be? What's the description going to be? You can have several ads in one ad group and you can have several ad groups in one ad campaign. So this can be very advanced or very simple, depending on how you want to do it. So for all that being said and taken care of, let me go ahead and say subscribe to the channel because you can find more videos like this and I do videos like this all the time. I'm on the dashboard right here and what you want to do to start a new campaign is to go up and make sure that you're on, on all campaigns and then you can go ahead and also be on campaigns right here as well in this uh, menu right here and then go to the plus sign which would be campaign to start a new campaign and now take it to this page right here if you are starting a new account then you'll see a completely different page to start up you'll be seeing something closer to this what you want to do on this page is go down to the link that says expert mode that link will take you to this page that i'm on right now and from here, what we're going to do is go to create a campaign with we'll follow a goals guidance. And then we're going to go to a video campaign and then we're going to stay on custom video campaign and go to continue. And right now we are starting up our video campaign right at the top. You see the campaign name, in which case I'm going to go ahead and change the name. And right below that is the bid strategy, in which case we can keep it at cost per view or you could do cost per thousand impressions, which is the target CPM. I'm going to leave it at cost per view. And I would suggest you do the same thing. Next, we have budget and dates. So we got the amount that we want to spend. Either we can do the campaign total or we can do it as a daily amount. So what I like to do personally is I like to do a daily amount so I can do like three dollars a day. And then we go down and go to edit so we can do a start date for it. It's August 13th. I don't have to have the end date. I can just end it whenever I feel like it or I can set an end date right now. So let's just say from 13th to the 20th, one full week. So now I'm going down to the networks. You got YouTube search results, you got YouTube videos, and you got YouTube partners. YouTube partners is things that are outside of YouTube, which I just wanted to stay on YouTube. So I'm not, I'm going to uncheck that. YouTube videos, just as it says on the bottom, it'll appear 
by YouTube videos on channel pages and the YouTube whole page, whereas the YouTube search results, it'll just appear on YouTube search. What we're gonna do is leave those two checked and then I'm gonna go down to locations. Going down to locations, you can see I have four options. All countries and territories, United States and Canada, United States by itself, or I can enter another location, in which case I can enter any country that I want. I can enter a couple of countries, or I can also exclude any country that I want from here. You can already see that I have some targeted locations, so I'm just gonna leave this as is. Going down to languages, you can see that I have English already set, but if you wanted to, you can add extra ones by going and typing one in, or you can just scroll down and check whichever language you want. Next, we're going to the inventory type, which is content exclusions. Clicking on this, you can see we got the standard inventory, we got a limited inventory, and we got an expanded inventory. And as you can see in the description, it gives you an example of where your ads will be placed at. So if you don't have a problem with your ads being placed on commercials that have profanity in it, then you can go to expanded inventory. But if you do have a problem with that, then you can go to limited inventory. The limited inventory is gonna cost more than the expanded inventory, so I'm going to go with the expanded inventory, keep my cost low. Excluded types and labels, somewhat of the same thing, as you can see on the right side, but on the left side, it says live streaming videos, embedded videos. You can also exclude your ad from being on any one of these as well. Next, we have related videos. Related videos appear below your video ad and offer an immersive experience to help reinforce and extend your ad's message. So what you can do, if you wanted to, you could add between two to five related videos. But for right now, what I'm gonna do is leave this blank. Last thing we have in the general settings is the additional settings. When we click on that, you can see that we got conversions, which is something we're not going to worry about. You have devices, in which case, where do you want your ad to be shown on what devices? We'll leave all eligible devices as such. The frequency capping, what this is, you'll be able to limit how many times a person can actually interact with your ad and how many times a person can actually see the ad as an impression. For right now, I'm gonna leave the frequency capping off as well. And the last thing you got is the ad schedule. If you don't set a particular time and date, then it will just do all days, 24 hours a day. So what you can do is if you don't wanna leave it 24 seven, you can do Monday through Fridays, you can do just the weekends, you can pick a couple of days in between. Like if I wanna do Mondays and then I wanna add another day, I can do Fridays, so it's just Mondays and Fridays. You just keep adding. Uh, particular times and then if you want to keep adding again like if I want to add Fridays 12 to 12 to 12 30 and then 6 15 to 6 30 or something like that like I can do that here but since I don't want to do none of that I'm gonna go ahead and go back to all days 12 to 12 and now I am done with doing the general settings now I'm going down to creating an ad group. Before I start an ad group though, I wanna divert your attention over here to the right, which is the weekly estimates. This is uh, the available impressions. The available impressions, what they think is gonna happen is over 10 billion, but that will get refined after we put in the budget, the bid, the actual YouTube video and the video ad format. Once we have completed all these steps, then we'll get to see the available impressions, how much they think we'll get. So let's go ahead and go to the create an ad group. First thing we gotta do is actually do an ad group name. So what I'm gonna do is enable custom thumbnails and I'm gonna put keywords. And I'm putting keywords because this is what this ad group is gonna focus on. So right below that, we got people. Who do we want to reach? And I'm gonna go down to the demographics. You see that we got gender, age, parental status, and household income. The only thing I'm going to mess with right now is the age because I know that people between 18 to 35, really people between 18 to 40-ish watch my videos. So I, this is where I'm going to keep it. Um, the next thing I got is audiences. 
what particular audience do I want to try to reach or target rather? Now I have my own new tutorials audience, in which case I could remarket to people that have watched my channel at any point in time. Or I could go with premium people that watch YouTube premium or have bought YouTube premium rather, you know, YouTube viewers, which is another thing I have done as far as remarketing to people on YouTube. If you want to learn how to remarket to people, then you can check out this video here. But since I'm not going to be using a remarketing list today and I'm going to be going with keywords instead, what I'm going to do is close this out and go down to keywords, which is under content. Where do I want the ads to show? From here, I can go ahead and start putting in some keywords. I can put in some keywords ideas on this side by either putting in a related website or I can put in a product or a service on this side. What I'm going to do though is just put enable custom thumbnails and I'm going to press enter to see what pops up. You can see I have some keywords pop up and their relevance to what I just put in all the way at the top. Or what I put in as far as my initial keyword. So I can just go ahead down here and put in add all ideas or I can just go to the plus sign and add certain keywords that I like, but I'm just going to do all and just leave it at that. I'm going to close this down. The next thing I can do is go to topics, in which case I can find a particular topic that I want to um, or want my ads to show on. Once again, if I want to do that, I would add another ad group. I wouldn't add this to this particular ad group. Same thing with placements, in which case I can find a YouTube channel or YouTube video or things like that that I want to actually target. So the next thing I'm doing is going down to bidding and I'm going to put in my maximum CPV bid, which is cost per view. This is how much I'm willing to spend on one click. And I'm going to put four cents. That doesn't mean every time somebody clicks on my video or clicks on my ad rather that I'm going to pay four cents, but that's the most I'm willing to spend. And then y'all can do the top bid adjustment by a certain percentage. So if I put by 20%, uh, it would just be extra cent or 25% would be extra cent rather. So now that I got my bidding done, Next thing I gotta do is bring in a YouTube video over here, which I'm going to do right now. And the last thing I need to do is figure out whether I wanna do a in-stream ad or a video discovery ad. The in-stream ad is basically when your video looks like a commercial in between somebody's video or it plays before somebody else's video plays. And the video discovery is when your video shows up besides suggested videos or when somebody does YouTube search, it'll be the first ad that people see. It'll be the first video that people see. Doing the video discovery ad, you can see over on the right, the, the weekly estimates has now been finished. This is my estimated amount of views that I'll get and the estimated impressions, which the average CPV is actually gonna be between one to 3%. And the unique reach is going to be somewhere between 25 to 90 K. Last thing I need to do is just go ahead and finish filling out my video ad here, in which case all I need to do is do a headline and then add some descriptions and then I'll be done. So that's it. At this point in time, I can go back up, double check some things, but I feel like I'm good where I'm at. So I can go ahead and go to create a campaign at this point in time. If you have created a new account, then you will have to put in your credit card information. But other than that, you'll be at congratulations. The campaign is ready and I can go to campaign and then I'm done. There are a few things that I would like to let you know before I actually finish this video up, though. One of the biggest things is that if you look over here, right in the middle, you can see earn views, earn likes, playlists, and earn shares. Um, and you can also see right here, it says earn subscribers. This will not show for you 
just automatically. What you'll need to do if you want to see that is go up into the column section. You want to go to modify columns. You'll have to go into YouTube earned actions and then you'll have to check these. And then you will press apply to let that happen. Another thing is that you can edit your campaign after you finish. And what you will want to do is make sure that your campaign is highlighted as this one is right here. And then I want to go into settings from here. And then I can go ahead and change my general settings. If I want to change anything from the settings of the ad group, you can see that this ad group is right here, right below the actual campaign. So I would highlight the, the ad group and then go into settings. And then you can see I can change the ad group right here. If I wanted to add some extra keywords, then I would just go to keywords and then I can go ahead, add some right here. I can go ahead and delete. If I wanted to do that. There are plenty of different things that I could do right now as far as changing things up or adding some new things. Um, but I will talk about that more in a separate video. I've already talked about some in other videos. So I would suggest that you check out my Google ads playlist if you want to learn more. So I have gotten to everything I want to show off. So what do you think of Google ads in general? Do you think it's a good idea to use them? Do you think it's a bad idea to use them? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, if you like the video, make sure you like it. Subscribe to the channel, share with a friend, click the bell notification so you get notified when new videos come out from me. I make new videos every week. Also check me out on other social media. I'm on Twitter, I'm on Instagram, Facebook. So check those out as well. Thanks for watching.